The new Netflix series, Brother Son, has officially been canceled and will not be coming back for season two. And a bunch of people are talking about it. Yeah, a bunch of people sent me this and I'm not gonna lie, this might be one of like the quickest cancellations I've ever seen because we just got done talking about it launching. Anyway guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. This has been sort of like circulating news in the Asian Americans that are interested in entertainment community this week, right? Yeah, no, I mean, I think a lot of people are reposting about it because everybody was waiting to see if Brother Son was going to get a season two. Obviously, this is a show that I watched. A lot of other people watched, but obviously not everybody watched because if everybody watched it, they'd, they'd bring it back. Hey, shout out to Sam Lee, a friend of ours. Him and Justin Chin, Andrew, they just got done doing their talk show rounds like two weeks ago. Yeah, but I mean, that's how it is, right? The show comes out and they get, they get the views. Maybe I think... Netflix had some very strict metrics and numbers that the show probably needed to hit right. within the first couple months, and it didn't hit it. Right. So, I guess it was like, uh, it fell very short of it. That is according to the article. Right. I will say this, Andrew. Nowadays in the streaming analytics era, decisions are coming quicker than they ever did. Right. Oh, no. They're like, oh, well, two weeks in, didn't hit the numbers. Done. Do you think, though, that they're extra, th this is the conspiracy part, and we have to entertain it because- we know that there can be some legitimacy to this. Were they extra quick to cancel it because it was Asian? They you, could they have just held off the decision? Because it looked like they just couldn't wait to chop it down. Uh, no, I don't think, obviously, Netflix has anything against Asian people. No, I mean, Netflix has a ton of great and successful Asian But you know shows. what I'm referring to, Andrew? This initial boom of, like, let's approve everything Asian, but then cut the ones that don't, you know perform quickly if this sort of like process might be in session well man you know it's just like any other business it's about the bottom line it's about money because at the end of the day listen the show costs money to make and if they don't think it's worth it to make another season or they don't have the other season written or they don't know where to take it because do they take it to taiwan because at the knowing at the of this the ending of season one Taiwan seems like the next logical place to take the story, but they can't film in Taiwan. So I guess they kind of left it, you know, like maybe they just don't know where to go with it. Hey, listen, guys, the comments were very split. Some Asians were happy to see it get canceled, which is interesting. We're going to get into that. Some people were in the middle. Some people were sad. Andrew, real quick, I need you to give your hot take. Did you like the show as somebody who watched the show? I liked parts of it, and I think part of it was very strong, and part of it, to be honest, was very cringy. Now, shout out to all our friends who were in it. Sam Lee, Jenny Yang, June Lee, Yoshi Sudarso. They got their shot. I thought they all did their thing. But yeah, execution wise, nah, there was definitely some parts where I was like, uh, this, uh. and then there were some parts where I was like, oh, I like it. There but was parts of it that felt like a Christian movie director that had never seen an Asian yeah. gangster film from Asia like got yeah. put in charge of this so, gangster scene. And I was like, well, this is so weird. Yeah, yeah. so, so the, of the friends that hated it, I have friends who hated it. They compared it to everything else, Oscar winning movies. They were going, comparing it to a lot of the Korean films that are coming out, Korean shows, they, which were maybe overall better. They said the show was unrealistic. It was corny. It was Your cringy. girlfriend didn't hate, like the show. No, my girlfriend did not she like it. She hated the show. She hated the show. Um, I think a lot of like, Asians from the street world, maybe they thought it was kind of unrealistic and goofy. Well, because it made the AZN street world, to be honest, look like a joke. Yeah, but I think the friends who loved it, they didn't overthink it. They didn't overexamine it. They were just like, oh, it's a fun show with a lot of badass action. I like Michelle Yeoh, so it was cool. Right, right, right. And I'll tell you this, Michelle Yeoh is going to be okay. She got canceled from ABC on Disney+. Plus. Now this show got canceled, and she's still going to be... <clears throat> In 63 things next year. Yeah, yeah Michelle. Anyway, Yoska. let's just get in the comment section. Somebody said, but they keep renewing Emily in Paris and Riverdales and stuff. What the F? But here's the thing is, literally, guys, if you guys know how Netflix <laughs> operates, they are a very analytic, like, tech-based company. They literally just go off ROI stats. Yeah, I think that um, on the Asian internet, Asian-American internet, a lot of people are talking about this, but you have to understand how many people in the world have no idea that this show even came out. Right. Somebody said, listen, guys, 
I felt like when ev all the critic reviews came out, it was just rose colored glasses. Everybody felt the need to support a pro Asian male masculine show mm. that was like kind of gangster, kind of illegal and kind of cool. But everybody was just not being honest with themselves because not all representation is good representation, guys. There still has to be a minimal line of execution ability. Wow. Yeah, I, I think there's some truth to that comment. Um, somebody just said, man, I couldn't even make, th make it through the first 20 minutes. Of course, Andrew, this turned into a bunch of people pointing out everything that they didn't like about the show. Gangster scenes unrealistic. This part seems serious. This part seemed absolutely off the wall wacky. Plot holes galore. People really hated it when the, what, the dancing Tai Chi grandmas, like, sh stopped the gangsters. Oh, man. That was probably... I'm that, not gonna lie, guys. Guys, guys. Listen. That was a cringe show. That was a cringe all, scene. All my friends in the show, I hope you guys get more work after this. It might have been the worst Asian gangster scene I've ever seen in my yeah, entire yeah. life. Yeah, by the way, guys, the actors, our friends who were in it, it wasn't their fault how the show turned out. They're just playing the role. Right, right, right. Um, other people are saying, oh, Netflix is losing uh, money and they're just blaming it on the Asian shows, blaming it on their DEI shows. Somebody said, man, listen, guys, with Warrior getting canceled, ABC getting canceled, all these Asian shows getting canceled, it goes to show you what happens when Asians don't have an Asian American network for all these shows to live on. Because mm. you know how, uh, obviously, there are more Latino networks, they tend to be more Spanish based, but there's certainly a lot of uh, black entertainment networks. And then, or verticals at least, whether it's digital or in analog. But then, like Asians are always existing on mainstream platforms because there is no Asian centric platform. I guess. I mean, you would agree that that's that's true. But I don't think this Asian network is going to even have the money to produce a show like this. Right, because you're saying where would the capital? This the was liquidity? like millions of dollars. Like I don't know how much. Like what? Like did this show not cost more a million dollars plus per episode? For sure. Yeah, yeah probably. Right. That's yeah, why, that's why they're so ruthless with their ROI yeah. calculations on that's it. That's why Netflix is like, cool, we made the show, great, it didn't make the cut, we're done. That's it. Um, I hope this doesn't spell the end for like triad shows. I love triad shows, but I will say this, it's very difficult because like the AZN world, in terms of the street world, I definitely think it's perceived or whatever, more Southeast Asian. So you can't really bring it to this like, Taiwan gangster and then Taiwan overachievers that are like yeah. nerds that are like yeah. in orchestra getting straight. That there's just mm -hmm. that to that to how it manifests in America. There's no connection between yeah. those triangulation of those three worlds. Yeah, if I had to put it plainly, I think the show felt too goofy to be an actual gangster flick, and it was too dark and gangster to be like a full on kind of Jackie Chan comedy. You mean like Fresh Off the Boat? Yeah, Fresh Off the Boat was clearly. In the silly billy, yes. wholesome. Yes, that's why lane. Fresh Off the Boat worked. Even though some scenes of Fresh Off the Boat were cringe, it was like, you know what it was supposed to be, man. It's supposed to be a family, funny show right. about kids. The color grading was all bright and sunny. So and my thing is, if there were to be a season two, in my mind, of Brother Son, I would like to see it go darker, even darker, more gangster, and have it take place in Taiwan. Now, maybe I think just any other Taiwanese gangster flick, which I've seen some. Dagada. Yeah, Dagada, or there's like multiple Taiwanese gangster films. The Gao from Asia. Hei 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 they're right. way darker and way more serious. Oh, man, they're, 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 they're dark. And they're way cooler, to be honest. Like, those are just cohesive pieces. So, anyways, guys, we're not here to rag on the show because honestly, I enjoyed a lot of part of it, a lot of part, parts of it, but I'm not also going to be shocked. That, you know... Are, are Asians going to get another chance to do something conventionally cool? Or is it back to sunny, you yes, know, smiling? Yes, I think so. Even though these were all shows that were approved maybe three, four years ago and then got made a couple years ago and then are finally out, I still think Asians are getting more shots. But there was definitely a surge of Asian content and not all of it did well. Do you think they're replacing it? They're like, oh, you know, Shogun, that takes place in Japan. Plus, we got the uh, white protagonist. Oh, yep, yeah. Shogun yeah. in... Brother, son, out. David, does it kind of go to show you that when you film something using a lot of Asian Americans, it's tough on where to put it? Is it? You mean the cultural space? Is it a goofy, fun, just comedy, or is it? Are you trying to make Asian America seem very dark, crazy, and dangerous and gangster? Is it the corrupter, or is it a, more of a Jackie Chan, but not Jackie Chan the foreigner? Oh, you know. I felt like there was a mix. I thought Rumble in the Bronx had an amazing mix. I thought older Jackie stuff before he got super goofy like the suit, that was really uh, the, the best triangulation, good in my point. opinion. But you need the personnel and the writers and everything to pull it off. I like Rush Hour series, Rumble in the Bronx. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace.